episode 15 of Ark here on Ragnarok. As you can see, the Sloth army has multiplied somewhat. Uh, I actually have 19, well, I have more than 19, but I have 19 that I can take away while still leaving some breeding stock in reserve. So what I am going to do now is attempt to get these guys out of here and take my 19, my chosen 19, on a trip to uh, start leveling them up and whatnot. So probably going to go from here across to the volcano area because there's lots of insects around there and that will be good for these guys because of their insect killer buff. I managed to get them all outside so we're going to head down the pathway and across. I'm not going to go into that wooded area, we're just going to go across the snow and then down the other side. And oh, that reminds me. I'm not sure why it reminds me because, hang on, what's going on here? Eh, I'm stuck in a sloth. No. <laughs> I need to put my gate back. I had to remove the, the, um, the gate and the door to actually get these guys out of here. But hopefully I can get it back in without it going weird. Please? Yeah. <laughs> Phew. I have bad luck with gates. Dive. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to get back on here. And I need to make all of these follow me. If I go all, come on, sloppies. <laughs> Move out. All of you? Did I get all of you? Yes, I actually did. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, well, time to go. Just point so we can see again. Oops. Okay, don't note to self, don't try and fly in K mode because you crash into things. <laughs> oh, there's something you need to attack. <laughs> I guess we'll get to the end and see whether we still have 19. <laughs> flying down the hill. It's kind of funny. Oh, now this is not this is a bit of tricky terrain. Now we have to get you to come down here somehow. Oh, okay, that'll do nicely. <laughs> getting down is not a problem, it's getting up that's a problem. <laughs> These guys are some of the worst for getting stuck on things, actually. They, they were really painful to get out of there, because they get stuck on each other really easily, and buried in, I don't, know, the, I don't know, inside other creatures, and it's just, yeah. And they're having issues with this rock, as you can see. Come on, go around the rock, around the rock. Come on, straggler, thank you. <laughs> All right, so a bit of an update for you. We made it out of the snow. Um, I had to make several trips back to kind of free up stuck ones and such like. Um, getting rid of trees with the pteranodon, which makes absolutely no sense, but it works. Um, so that there's less things to get stuck on. It is going to go dark, unfortunately, and this journey through this next little bit with all these rocks and everything is going to be pretty tricky, and there's not really anything interesting to fight around here. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm actually going to do the rest of this off camera and then um, come back when we get to the volcano area and there's all kinds of things to fight. Yeah, see, so there's another one that's kind of stuck. Is he stuck? No, he's not stuck. All right, welcome back. We have arrived at the volcano. Uh, I have been pumping levels into melee and health on these guys, which is why some of them look kind of damaged. Um, I've also put them all on aggressive, so now we're going to go on a rampage over the mountains, killing all the insects we can find in the hopes of gaining a lot of XP. Um, I also appear to have only 18 of these. I'm not sure whether that's because I miscounted or whether I have actually lost one somewhere. I flew back to try and find it and couldn't see it anywhere, but honestly it's easy enough just to breed another one, so I'm not too concerned about that. So let's head this way. I can see some scorpions and mantis and there's a spider there um, and get into some trouble. So what I'm going to do I think is fly way ahead and then look back so we can see what they do.
Yep, look, they're going to go get that spider. <laughs> spider doesn't even stand a chance. Do I feel sorry for it? No. And look, now we've got the insect killer buff starting up. Let me bring it over here. I'll get the mantis. Oh, the mantis went flying in. <laughs> okay, where should we go now? I think there's some stuff up here. Hopefully they can get up this hill, all right? Oop. Yep, lots of angry bugs. No, they don't know how to get up here. That's just typical. Come on, megatheriums, you're spoiling the fun. What are you doing? I'm sure you'd be able to get up there. Can you get up this way then? Looks like you should be able to get up here. Oh, no, we brought the insects down to you. Okay, so that's what I need to do, is bring the insects down to you. <laughs> are you sure we can't go this way? Come on, we need to get up the mountain. Nope, you guys are still, what are you doing? Oh, you can't see, you can get up there. You lied to me. <laughs> insect fueled rage. There's a snake there, There's two snakes. <laughs> yep, you go for it. And a poor dung beetle got caught in the crossfire. Too bad. <laughs> Let's come over here, they've got arthros. More snakes, more mantis, more spiders. I love that orange glow on them all, it's cool to see. Can get the mantis. Doing a crazy circle thing there, not really sure why we're doing that. More mantis over here. You gonna go get that one? Yeah, you are, look at that. <laughs> Some stragglers in the back. Come on guys, keep up. Whoa! <laughs> mantis comes flying in, that was a bad idea. Bad idea, mantis. That one at the back there, I think, is a, uh, a non-imprinted one, which is why he's lagging behind all the others. Possibly shouldn't have brought him. Oh well, so maybe I'll breed two replacements. What level is that? Ugh, okay, we don't really want to go over there. I don't think we should mess with that. So, um, there's some more stuff. We've run out of stuff! No more insects already! You're on fire and flying off the edge of a cliff. That looks, it's very dramatic looking. Not sure what you're doing. <laughs> what are you doing, Megatherium? Let's fly up really high in the air so that this one can kind of see where I am. Oh look, there's stuff, they're everywhere. You know what, I don't even care, I'm just gonna go. I'll come back and round them all up later. I'm probably just gonna go round and round around here anyway. Um, but I really want to bring them up here because there's a whole pile of arthros and a snake over here that they can get. See, look what I found. Come get. <laughs> or not. Trying. You're even eating them too, that's kind of scary. Okay, can we get back up here? But we can't, can we? Why do you eat some of them and not other ones? See, there's a, there's a dead Arthro there that you're not doing anything with. Oh, what's that one doing? Uh, not sure what all that was about. <laughs> Come further up this way, taking damage from heat stroke, that's awesome. What's up here? We've got a saber and RG and that I do believe is a rock golem. That would be an interesting test. It's not an insect though. Yep, get the saber. Saber does not stand a chance. Here, get the. You can get the RG as long as the RG doesn't take off. Get the RG off as only level 18. Uh, let's go off a bit higher. Should get you to fight the. Let's fight the rock golem. This might be extremely unwise, of course. 
Maybe I should help. But 120. Was this a bad idea? Possibly. Seriously, guys, there's enough of you. <laughs> I think we're going to abandon ship here. Come on, let's go. Ooh, use stones. So let's see what's over here. Scorpions, dung beetles. Come on, guys, what are you doing over there? There's much more exciting things over here. Insects to squash, come get them. What are you guys doing? What? Get the bugs. <laughs> All the bugs. Right. Normally it seems like there's a huge amount of bugs over here, and now because I want them to be, there's like, hardly any. That's just typical of that. I do see something here, though. Oh, they found something. Dung beetle. They're finding things that I cannot see. That's fine. Let's carry on. And get this mantis. Well, I must have so many stuck ones around here somewhere. I guess they'll probably just turn up. There's this weird thing where they... If you get too far away from them, even when they're following you, they just kind of disappear. And then if you fly back into the area, suddenly they reappear again. And it's not that they're stuck, it's just that you got too far away, and, it, and I guess they go into stasis or whatever, which is kind of stupid when they're on follow mode, I think. But it is what it is. Here we go. What, you're not going to get that mantis? It's right there! Get the mantis! And those ones. I'm down here, all kinds of good stuff here. <laughs> There's lots all coming, charging down the hill. A flaming blast of insect killing frenzy. We don't like snakes? Like, we're just going to ignore the snakes? Is that what's happening? There's usually a bunch of spiders over here. Ooh, a drop! <laughs> I will confuse my sloths horribly if I go up there. We got here. Oh, where did you come from? Come, guys, come and help. Don't leave this one to do it all by himself. Herself. I think I kept mostly females because it made it quicker to breed them. Ah, so that's where all the stuck ones were. Look, they're all coming piling out of this little pathway here. Let's do a quick count and see how many I've actually got here. Oops. Yeah, it's kind of hard. Um, you know what, guys, can you just, like, stop for a second? So I can count you. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, really? Uh-oh. No, 15, there's an extra one there, squeezed inside another one. Hmm. So I'm missing 3? found I'm missing pieces, we're heading up out of the volcano area now. Um, I've got the labels turned on, which is kind of annoying, but it just makes it easier to see if I've got one left behind or not. Now that we're out of all that rocky stuff, we can probably do it without those labels on. And we're going to head this way. Hopefully there's no giga or anything stupid like that around here, because we're definitely not going to be fighting one of those with a Megatherium army. That's not a good plan at all.
I think a bracky is probably the best thing to fight a giga with, honestly. Oh, wow. <laughs> Every little dung beetle they find. I would not want to be a dung beetle with these guys around. The beach is in sight. All that stands between us is a diplo and a... Aloe? Is that what that is? I think it's an aloe. You guys going to attack the diplo or what? Are you just going to let him keep punting the... Hello? Are you guys aggressive still? Do I have to spell it out for you that you should be attacking that? Okay, come on guys. Down to the beach. Let's come flying down the hill. I love watching them do this. <laughs> and go all the way ahead so that we can watch them. And turn around and flying down the hill. <laughs> flying sloth army. This looks like a decent spot. Let's just park them all here, shall we? And stop here. Oh, they're going to go and try and kill that galley that's stuck in the rock over there, are they? Or no, we're not doing that anymore. You guys are done killing stuff, is that what you're telling me? Let me spread out a bit. Okay, and everybody stop following because your stamping is driving me crazy. Alright, so now um, I believe I am down a few. So, well. Not a few, I'm down one. <laughs> okay, um, so let's just, let's find a couple to breed. Let's put, uh, let's, let's put this one, naval mating, with this one here. Oh, it looks like we're mating all of them. Oops. Or two of them anyway, whatever. All right, so that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed our little uh, outing across the volcano with the, the sloth army here. Uh, I'm going to keep working on these guys and level them up a bit further. I'd like to get them up like 290, 300 before I actually take them to the broodmother. And of course I need to get them all healed up so they're not all um, patchy and bloody looking. Um, two babies to imprint as well, of course. So hopefully in the very near future I'll have a fully leveled sloth army. Um, and we can get into some more trouble with them. But until then, please leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and go ahead and subscribe so that you'll see when uh, the next video comes out, and I will see you next time. Bye!